welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your love reading. This is going to be for the dates of October 15th through November 15th. Please remember that timing can be flexible, okay? And that this reading may not resonate with every Libra out there. So take what resonates with you. There will be an extending, extended reading link below if you'd like to check it out. The last thing I'll mention, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. But want to say I do give away free personal readings each month to enter. You just need to subscribe, like, and comment. So good luck if you wish to enter. Happy birthday if it's anybody's birthday today. Uh, or a little bit more than halfway through Libra season. So next it will be Scorpio. So let's get started here. Let's pull some messages from the Romance Angels for Libra. All right, so your first card is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And let's get one more here. And you have, yes, this is your soulmate. And bottom of the deck, you have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So what I'm getting here, Libra, is I do feel there is somebody here you may be in separation with, or there could be some sort of distance, okay? I do feel like this is somebody that you know, like I said, in separation with. This may not be everybody's story. But what I'm getting here, uh, Libra, is I feel that there is somebody in your life that maybe there is poor communication right now or the two of you have definitely separated or broken up. But I feel it's an energy where you may have pulled back from the situation, focused your energy on you. And I feel now this person here is seeing that maybe you're not chasing them or maybe you're not trying to put in as much effort as before or you're just really focused on you. And I feel like this person is seeing that and I feel that is what is, is calling your soulmate to you, okay? Now, for some of you, I do get here too with this soulmate. There could be a new person coming in, right? There could be somebody new coming in and if you're not wanting to reconcile with someone, I feel here too, there is that possibility that there is somebody ready for a relationship. So we'll pull some cards. We'll see what additional messages come out for you. All right. So I already did some. Okay, look at that. Before I could finish my shuffling, the Seven of Pentacles popped out. So I do sense here somebody is definitely thinking about you. And I feel like this person has their eye on you too. You can see how intently this person is looking at the other person, but this person is, is looking away. So I feel if you're dealing with a particular person, Libra, I feel that, um, you know, even though you may want to reconcile or you have feelings for this person, I feel like you've pulled back for some reason. And I feel this is catching this person's interest. So let's see what comes out for you, Libra. Thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. What can you tell Libra about love and their situation? You have the Emperor, strong Aries energy, the Knight of Cups, water energy there, the Wheel of Fortune, the Judgment card, wow, a lot of major arcana cards here, the Two of Swords, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I feel that's you, Libra, hold them back there, and the Hermit, wow, yeah, you've je definitely made this person think what I'm getting here, strong Virgo energy, and you have the Ten of Swords. So I do feel there was a situation in the past, all right? It feels like there was some sort of hurtful ending here, but I feel like somebody here is returning. They definitely have you on their mind. I feel their intention is towards you. And I also feel here that there is a new beginning here if you're wanting it, okay? Now, Big shift I feel happening here for you, Libra. You have the Emperor and you have the Judgment card. So 
I feel that this person that you're dealing with is showing up as strong Aries, or they could have Aries in their chart. But this person here, I feel, is somebody that may have had um, some emotional baggage in the past or past situations that didn't work out for them. And I feel that for whatever reason, if you weren't getting what you needed from this person, I feel it had to do with their past. It also can be a situation I'm getting here that this person may have had some past karma or that they had to deal with. It could be a particular person or this person needed to learn some valuable lessons in life in general before they were ready for a relationship. I feel you could be dealing with somebody here who has a bit of ego and somebody here who may not share a whole lot, but we're going to, and when I say share a whole lot, that may be about their intentions or their feelings or their emotions for you. It doesn't mean that they don't have feelings for you because they do show they do. We're going to clarify that. You have the Knight of Cups and the Two of Swords. That's that energy I was feeling, Libra, as I feel like you've pulled back. I feel like you've pulled back from maybe putting any effort or, you know, texting or calling this person or, you know, you being the one to always give in the connection. And I feel this is drawing this person to you. I feel that it is um, pulling them towards you with an element here of fate as well, because you have the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Hermit card as well. So I definitely get your person here is doing a lot of thinking. They're probably wondering here why you're not reaching out to them. I do see some sort of shift here, a blessing, things turning in your favor. Uh, as I said, it was strong Virgo energy here. So let's see what comes out. So I want to look here too. You do have strong um, devil energy and you have the justice. So your energy Libra and you also have here uh, strong Capricorn. I feel this person is, is very attracted to you. Okay, very, very attracted to you. They may be obsessively thinking about the situation. But I want to say here too, this could be somebody who's very controlling, very dominant type of energy. Um, definitely get an energy of somebody who wants things to go in their way. They may be used to having things their way as the emperor here. You may be dealing with somebody who's very successful in uh, business but or holds some position of authority. So let's clarify these cards, see what additional messages come out for you. All right, the cards are being a bit unruly. So let's see here. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. Why is the judgment card here, please? Why is the judgment card here, please? You have the Page of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Look at that. Judgment again. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Hierophant, strong Taurus energy. You have a lot of major arcana cards in your uh, reading so far, Libra. You have the Page of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and you have the Judgment card. I feel your person here is somebody that they're having some sort of epiphany or wake up call in the situation. I feel they may have recently gone through some sort of karma here that I feel may be making them see things in a different way. And I feel that this person here is realizing your worth. And I feel this is somebody here who is getting ready to communicate with you. I feel like they're hoping and wishing um, that things can work out between the two of you, that things could be healed between the two of you here. All right, now I feel too there, there could have been more than one person involved. Like I said, I feel like your person could have been dealing with a situation or someone from the past and they may be having to make a judgment call here. But I do feel like you are dealing with somebody here too, like I said. They like to have things their way. They may be a bit stubborn. 
Um, but the emperor is, is a good person, don't get me wrong, but, the, but I do sense here that they like things in order. They have a certain way of doing things. Why is, um, let's see here, why is the Knight of Cups and the Two of Swords here, please? You have the Eight of Cups, the World card, the Five of Swords. I love this Five of Swords here because, you know, it makes me feel it's like this person is conflicted. They're scratching their head here. Um, you know, they can't get you off of their mind type of energy, but it definitely feels like there was a situation here where either you walked away from this person, um, and I, and, or they walked away from you, whatever happened in your situation, you have the 10 of cups here as well. I feel there is a, uh, a new chapter happening here, a new beginning for you and this person, if you want it, um, I feel that you may have also turned your back, you know, walked away from this person, realized that you weren't getting what you needed emotionally from this person. And I feel that is why things are going to start to come full circle. So this person's returning. They're returning here with an offer here. They're returning, coming back around, wanting to express how they feel about you. Like I said here, they want to work on things. I do feel like this is somebody coming back around. They realize that they do have feelings for you, even though this is somebody here who has a very hard uh, time showing it, or they keep a lot of things in, not just their feelings and emotions, but whatever they're planning. This is somebody who plans. I feel they're planning their next move with you. And I feel like they're trying to figure out how to express or show their love for you is what I'm seeing here, okay? Now, with the world card, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Scorpio, uh, or a Leo energy as well, okay? But I feel that this is somebody here who feels happy when you are around them. I feel that there are times when the two of you are really close, and um, I feel it's in those times that this person starts to open up to you. Let's clarify now why the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit is here. This is in your near future position. Now, after um, this, I will take it to the extended reading. I will look a bit deeper. Uh, we're going to look at how your person is thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love messages, guidance, their intentions, and we'll also take a peek at new love if you are undecided here. But I definitely get this is somebody that you know. All right, so you have the Eight of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Page of Pentacles, okay? So there's going to be a shift here, right? Look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Devil card again, strong Capricorn energy. So there may have been something unhealthy about this situation, or like I said, this could be somebody here who doesn't want to let you go. They have a very, they feel a very strong bond with you. Um, like I said, they could be a bit controlling, even jealous. So what I'm getting here is this person is definitely doing a lot of thinking. With this Wheel of Fortune, I feel there's a shift happening here in the situation. This person's coming back around. They want to work on things. Um, I feel to, you know, this happened for a reason. With the Wheel of Fortune, things play out. We don't understand why. That's because it's faded. It's destined to happen that way. And I feel it really was that your person had to go through some sort of karma here or deal with something from their past to be able to be ready for this connection. I also feel here too, this is also a situation where you had to learn here to put you first in the situation because I feel that Libra, you may have been giving a lot to this person but not getting the same in return. Okay, now this could be somebody who works a lot, a workaholic here with the devil card as well. But in you have here the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel the shift that is happening. I feel that you're going to receive some sort of message from this person. This person is coming back around. They want to work on things. I feel that 
This is someone here who is going to show that things can be more stable. They want to get things back to a stable place. So before we go on to the extended, I just want to pull a few more cards here for you, Libra. Let's see what else Libra needs to know about this situation. What else does Libra need to know about this situation? Look at that, the world card again, two times. Definitely some sort of shift here that is happening, a new beginning, new cycle. You have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so I feel this person is coming back around. You have the Five of Pentacles here. So I feel this person is coming back around and I feel this is somebody who is coming back around. They're gonna do things differently than they did in the past. This is somebody I feel here who didn't, value you but it may just be that it wasn't the right timing here with the temperance card okay and then look here you have the page of pentacles so i feel this person's going to reach out to you right i do sense that they're going to take action towards a new beginning they want a fresh start here i feel they want to communicate with you they're very very attracted to you very much so and i'm going to say for some of you this is somebody who could live at a distance as well All right, I've had sunflowers on my mind and this sunflower card is poking out for me. So you may like sunflowers, okay? <laughs> I don't know that's not for somebody out there, but um, let's take this to the extended Libra. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.